Just going to run through all the functions on the uh, Silencio control panel. When we first uh, turn the system on, you'll notice that it comes up saying language and German. By using the arrows, we can scroll through the language that we require and then press OK. It then goes on to a, the measuring length. Now that is the length of our level, se level sensor installed in the underground tank. So if we've got a platin tank, then our, t our measuring cable might be about a meter. So we'll use the arrows and we'll scroll down to 100 centimeters. We'll then press OK to store that figure. The system's now booting up. Now we'll see that we get a level percentage for the water in our underground tank. Now on this display model, we've got a much smaller underground tank. So we need to change the depth of the tank. To change the depth of the tank, we hold the menu button and then we scroll up to device adjustment. We press OK to get into the submenu. We scroll up to level measuring. Press OK to get a flashing figure. And now we're going to take that down. And the depth of our tank is probably only about 30 centimetres. Press OK. Now that we've set a new depth, if we press menu and come back to the main screen, we'll see that now, instead of our tank being 17% full, that's now going to adjust to our new tank depth. And now we'll see the percentage rise, and our tank is 57% full. If we work our way through the menu options, we hold the menu button, and the first thing we get is switching points. Now, if we press OK to go into those, first thing we'll see is valve open and valve closed. That's referring to this red three-way valve. When we get to 10% in the underground tank, our red three-way valve will move into the mains water position and take water from the mains water reservoir behind the pump. Then, following some rain, if the level builds up to 12% in the underground tank, it will then close the three-way valve, opening up the rainwater pipework to allow the pump to draw the water from the underground tank. There is an option on the control panel to only use the mains water and not use the water in the underground tank. We'll see here we've got hand flush drinking water. If we again press the button to get the flashing no and change that to yes and then press OK. If we then come out of that what we'll notice is that although the level percentage is at 53%, we've told it to only use the mains water, and so we get little flashing amber light next to the tap. That indicates that now, regardless of what water we've got in the underground tank, it will only use the mains water in the mains water reservoir. Obviously, if we want to change that back, menu, manual operation, hand flush drinking water, it's currently on yes, change that to no, and then as we come back out, we'll now notice that that cursor, that, that the uh, LED is no longer flashing on the tap symbol. Another simple way to change the 
unit to use mains water rather than rainwater is to simply disconnect the level sensor cable. It will then come up with a red fault light showing that we're not getting any signal from the level sensor from the underground tank. And because the unit then doesn't know how much water we've got in the underground tank, it'll default to mains water to make sure that there is always a water supply to the pump. If we simply connect the level sensor back up and it gets a signal again, it will then default back into the rainwater mode. 